climate change, the shift and the bottom line. The National Business Initiative, a coalition of 140 member companies. We called for contributions across various business sectors within South Africa about the future of energy, the opportunities and the barriers in climate change. This is what we learned. The world's climate is changing and can be seen every day and in so many ways. In Africa, we are seeing dramatic changes in rainfall patterns and extreme weather events. The 10 hottest years on record have occurred since 1990. South Africa is a relatively large contributor to global climate change with significant greenhouse gas emission levels, but we are also extremely vulnerable and exposed to the impacts of climate change. Already a water-stressed country, we face future drying trends and weather variability with cycles of drought and sudden excessive rains. We have to urgently strengthen the resilience of our society and economy to these climate change impacts and to develop and implement policies, measures, mechanisms and infrastructure that protect the most vulnerable. It means that we have to look beyond the global intergovernmental negotiations for answers. We have to take the lead. In 2008, the population of South Africa was 48 million. By 2035, we will have 82 million people, all dependent on the same level of natural resources, all working for a better quality of life, which means more consumption, which means more production, which means more demand, which means less supply, which means still more demand, putting more and more pressure on goods and services, energy and water. The effect? 10% of the country's birds and frogs, 20% of mammals, and 13% of South Africa's plants may be threatened with extinction because of climate change. A business-as-usual approach with refined risk management and eco-efficiency practices will just not be enough. We need to change direction. Making this change, led by a business community that understands the nature of the risks and opportunities that climate change presents, that has a good understanding of the actions required to lower emissions, and that is receptive to policy changes will facilitate this. Business leaders who see the climate challenge as a window for innovation must steer this business community in a collaborative and proactive way. The National Business Initiative, a coalition of 140 member companies, together with Business Unity South Africa, is leading the discussion through the COP17 CEO Forum, a platform for business leaders to stimulate action on climate change. These companies are playing a major role through investment in research, implementation of energy efficiency measures and new energy technologies, as well as the production of green alternatives. For many companies, using energy more efficiently can pay off in the medium to long term and be visibly seen on their bottom line. In South Africa, 95% of the electricity demand is produced by a national utility. As a result of abundant coal reserves, and a historical emphasis on coal-fired power, 45% of the country's greenhouse gas emissions come from the power sector. Our energy mix is changing to include more renewables. New wind and solar projects will come online by 2013. This makes sense, as South Africa has one of the highest incoming solar radiation levels in the world. The good news is that greenhouse gas reductions are possible without sacrificing the benefits of economic growth and rising prosperity. Technologies are available, or with appropriate support could be developed, which deliver low carbon energy. Action increases return on investment, reduces dependency on uncontrollable costs, and ensures long-term positioning. By addressing all of the elements important to delivering a low carbon society, including the provision of innovative finance options, greening the built environment, providing alternative fuels and modes of transport, refining our knowledge about where we source food and other products, as well as understanding how behavior change can be inspired by examples, we are securing our future competitiveness. South African companies are making the shift and rising to the challenge. Smart growth equals smart business. To read more on the South African business action on climate change, go to www.nbi.org.za.